you may have relevant data in Notion databases that can actually give you insights on the behavior of team members or maybe data analytics on the tasks that you complete or the projects, resources, and whatever internal processes you keep in Notion for yourself or for your team. And currently within Notion, there is no way to get data analytics and smartly run insights from your data so that you can improve your internal processes and workflows within your personal life or team ecosystem. So in this video, we are looking at a tool that integrates with Notion if you import a CSV and that at a tool that can integrate with Notion and that can, with the help of AI, analyze your data and clean up your data as well. This is not a sponsored video. I have no interest in this tool. I'm only recording this video to explore the capabilities of Datamoto. That is the tool that we are looking at for data analysis from Notion databases or from any CSV file with the help of AI. Let's use an example database for this use case. This is the Notion database database that contains 100 organizations. You can see we have the organization ID, which is actually the name of the organization in this case. There is a relation to the contacts database where each organization can be linked to one or multiple contacts. There is a URL property, some text properties in here, a numeric property type, and some more. There are 100 entries in here. And I can go on the three dots at any time and export this database as Markdown and CSV. We can do the current view. In this case, the current view contains all the data. There is no filter. So let's do that. We will include everything in here and I'm going to export. Now the export in CSV might be fast if you do not have that much data. In this case, there are only 100 pages in this database. So it's very fast. And what Notion does is it downloads a zip folder with the database data, which you can unzip to extract the CSV file that you are going to use to run the data analysis on data motto. So in this case, let's look at the file explorer and I will find this folder, the Notion data. I'm going to move it to downloads like that. I'm just going to replace the file. I already had done this for testing purposes before the video. So that's why I had that. Now let's go to data motto, which is right here. And in data motto, I can have multiple notebooks in my workspace. As you can see here, I already did a test with this notebook where I already uploaded the data and ran some analysis, which you can tell exactly here by scrolling the notebook, which is a nice storytelling way of looking at the data that you analyze over time with the help of AI. Now let's create a new notebook, which I've just done here. We can rename this org 100 analysis and we can upload data right here. So when you upload data, we can select the CSV file to use and after a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on how much data you have, the CSP will essentially be copied over the data motto notebook so that you can run analytics on it. And importantly, you can also clean up the data because maybe in Notion, you have a whole team using your database and there is no clear rule on how to use properties and what type of data to insert in them. And so maybe you need some cleanup of that data. So in this case, you can see here, there is a pagination applied to my Notion database. That is essentially a copy of the Notion database where I can see all the properties and the values within each page in the database. Now, I can see there are 100 rows, eight columns, and in here, I can scroll through the different pages in data motto directly. Now, the AI assistant is already prompting me to do something with this data. So I have this copy here. Now, what do we want to do? And you can see that we can choose between cleaning the data or analyzing the data if we know that it is already clean. In this case, I know that the properties are quite clean already, so there is no need to clean it up really, but I do want to start analyzing the data. So I will click on analyze here, and you can see the agent is thinking figuratively and taking a bit of time to come up with the next steps on what to analyze exactly in this data set. And you can see here, there are some prompts that I can already use. So based on the data set that I uploaded, I may want to analyze the industry distribution because I can see that each organization has one industry related to it or the employee size where we analyze the number of employees per organization. We can also analyze the country segmentation based on the country column or the year of foundation analysis. In this case, I think let's go with industry distribution. And notice also that if you do not care about these options that the AI comes up with based on the data, you can also write your custom message here. If you want to do a specific analysis that you have in mind and you know exactly what to do, then you can just write it here and prompt the AI to run that analysis. In this case, let's do industry distribution because I want to see the number of companies per industry, for example. 
and you can see that the AI also writes the output of the analysis on the notebook and the text on the notebook is also editable. So it becomes a sort of storytelling way to look at your data analytics, where over time you can see exactly what happened on the data, what was your analysis, what were the prompts, and also importantly, and possibly providing value for data analysts in particular, is that the AI also provides the code that you can run and rerun on the data over time in Python, R, or SQL right here, and you can see exactly what's going on, and you can also edit the code yourself if you know what you're doing. That's a very powerful technical feature. When you have many queries for the AI to analyze the data, you can also run all the code blocks from the top right corner right here to reanalyze the data maybe once you re-upload the data since there have been some changes, for example. You can rerun the exact same analysis over time. So you can see here industries, for example, you can see in the plastics industry, there are four organizations, whereas three organizations are in the primary, secondary education industry and so on. Now the AI is continuing the conversational approach to this notebook. What would you like to do next with the organization data? We can do an employee size analysis, a country-based segmentation, era foundation, detailed industry analysis. For example, let's assume that now I want to plot a bar chart of organizations by industry in descending order. Only include the first 10 industries. So I'm going to run this prompt and the AI will take a few seconds to generate the chart. And you can see here, these are the top 10 industry bar chart. And now it is generating the code right here, which you can see in real time. And then there you go. We now have a visualization of the top 10 industry by number of organizations. So we can see plastics, there are four. Secondary education, there are three. And this data corresponds to the previous data that we have here in the industry distribution analysis. And you can see that this is generated through Python. So it is an image. And I can open the image in a new tab, for example. There you go. I can also save the image. I can copy it and do whatever I need. And the powerful thing is that over time, if I want to update the data and re-upload it, I can do it. And then I can rerun the same exact prompt in here to get the updated distribution of organizations by industry. And now you can see that the AI continues to prompt me to continue the data analysis. So you get the concept and the possible value that you might get as a data analyst or just as a founder or as a manager at your organization, as well as for your personal life, if you want to just get insights from data that you store in Notion in any other database or table tool that you can export as CSV file and then run this analytics very easily just by prompting the AI. Then you can get into more advanced analysis also by modifying the code that the AI generates, or you can just stop there and just look at the data and make decisions, inferences, or just do nothing with it as you wish. That is it for this video about data motto and data analytics on Notion databases or any type of database that you can export as CSV and import back into data motto to get help with AI generated data analytics that tell a story over time on your data. Thanks for watching for now and see you in the next one.